A San Diego business is in the midst of allegations that millions of public dollars were misspent in Orange County. Team 10 found the company Gafcon does a lot of business in San Diego County too. Team 10's Mitch Blocker started investigating Gafcon and he found he was not the only one looking into it. Mitch. Hi Tika and Kim, this is a story about a construction consulting firm called Gafcon, but more than that, it's about the millions in public contracts the company has been awarded. Inside the elegant exterior of this downtown San Diego high-rise, a man named Yehudi Gaffin runs a business he created from nothing. Gafcon manages construction projects. The firm makes its money by getting jobs funded by the taxpayer. Currently, its most controversial project is in Orange County, where the city of Irvine hired Gafcon to help create the Orange County Great Park. It was billed as Orange County's Balboa Park. This recent audit revealed a decade after spending more than 200 million tax dollars to transform this marine air station into the park, little has been accomplished. The audit shows Gafcon allocated $7 million to itself, despite only $6 million being approved. It says Gafcon wielded considerable political pressure and that the company was not vetted, violating City of Irvine policy. Team 10 found Gafcon also does work for San Diego State University, the San Diego and Carlsbad Unified School Districts, the Grossmont Cuyamaca Community College District, and the Grossmont Union High School District. That is just one layer of an onion that we need to peel back. There's lots more layers. Attorney Kevin Carlin is interested in Gafcon's consulting deals. Team 10 found Gafcon's CEO is the secretary of the Grossmont Cuyamaca Community College District Foundation, a fundraiser for the school. This is while he was also doing project management for the district. Carlin is in the process of weeding through thousands of documents following the money trail. He says he doesn't know if there is wrongdoing in San Diego County, but suspects influence has been exerted. The questions that, uh, that come up in my mind are, who are the players? Who are the enablers? Who are the people that are profiting from this? And who are the people that are getting fleeced by this? I know the answer to the last question, and that's the taxpayers. Now, we reached out to GAFCON CEO Yehudi Gaffin, but he is out of town. His spokesperson issued this statement saying, GAFCON is proud of the work that we have done in Southern California. Our work continues to be recognized for its innovative and efficient planning and management, and we have not seen an impact to our business. Now, we also contacted the Grossmont Cuyamaca District. A spokesperson there said there was no conflict of interest in having Gaffin on the foundation board, even as his company managed construction projects for the district. With Team 10, I'm Investigator Mitch Blocker.